Alright then guys, so today's video is going to be another GTA 5 online uh, information video and today we are going to be elaborating on the last video on GTA Online I made uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, not sure when this is going to go out, go out um, where yeah, basically you just spoke about the DLC. Today I'm going to be telling you how much money you will be spending on that uh, on the the DLC coming out. Anyway, so in the news why that I linked in the description yesterday uh, or last video, um, I teased one v the the, the Rock Rockstar teased one vehicle, the Pegasi Reaper, the absolutely stunning car. And there's two ways uh, in which we can determine how much the all the cars cost in um, this DLC. One way is uh, well. Mainly find out how much the Pegasi Reaper costs other supercars. So we've had the the latest two supercars are the T20 and the Cyrus. They were both around two million. Um, but if the Pegasi Reaper, which is actually a hybrid of the Lycan Hypersport and the um, Lamborghini uh, a Huracan, um, yeah, it's a, a combination of them two. And um, if it becomes the fastest car. On, uh, in the game, it'll probably be more than those two cars, probably about two, two point five to three million. But obviously, we're one hundred percent sure it's not going to be the only car. Um, Rockstar said that it's there's going to be a whole host of vehicles, so um, that is definitely why we know that. And I'm thinking there's going to be a, around three to six vehicles, uh, similar to um, Executive and Criminals. Uh, what I think they're gonna Rockstar are gonna do is uh, three upgraded vehicles so maybe give them armor make them quicker something like that then three brand new vehicles so uh when you i'm, I'm gonna say like not customized the all the cars together will probably be about six million um and then if you do customize the cars uh it will be about 7.5 million overall also in the uh, newswire, they said they spoke about high-rise offices and warehouses. And um, let's say you buy one each, like in executive and criminals, the um, st not the still homes, the high-rise apartments, the penthouses were around one million. Uh, and I mean, warehouses, they're not going to be something too big. They're just going to be like a bit, a bit like a garage where you store all your merchandise. Um, so they'll be about 200k. Not too much, not too little. Um, and to, I think you only really need one office, like like one you're in the last uh, DLC. So oh, um, overall, let's say you buy one uh, high-rise office and maybe two warehouses let's say that adds up to about 1.5 million overall and and so um in vehicles and properties are 7.5 million plus 1.5 million uh do your maths and that is 9 million and um in the newswire rockstar did also say something about dressing up like a kingpin so there's definitely going to be loads of new weapons and clothes and um I mean, I think like when you, if you were to buy all of them together, it'll probably be about, uh, probably be about one million overall. So uh, seven point five plus one point five plus one equals ten million dollars. That's a really nice round number to to speak about. Um, and uh, some some of the cars, uh, if you were to buy one or two of the cars that come out, maybe the um, the Pegasi Reaper. Plus maybe an armored car for your for your um, VIP thing, your criminal mastermind, whatever it's called. Um, some some weapons, some clothes, one office and a warehouse. I'm gonna be saying you probably need about five million dollars. Now to help you guys out, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a giveaway. So in the description down below, tell me if you would prefer me to give away two. 3.5 million whale shark cards or one 8 million um, 60 pound or 100 dollar uh, megalodon shark cards i'll do either of them can't really do both options it's a bit too much i hope you do understand but um yeah if you enjoyed this video please be sure to drop it a like subscribe if you are not already and i will see you next time goodbye